Last time on Journey to the End. Sweet. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> hey, fool. Don't mess with me. <laughs> these guys are awesome. Yeah. Found this portal. Let's go to it. Let's get let's get to it and uh, see if we can't find a way to complete the portal and light it. Then uh, as long as we have enough space in our inventory for that, we'll be good. Let's light this sucker. Yeah, look at that. We're going into the nether, everybody. And there we go. Ooh, look at I found ancient debris. Let's gather this. And look at this ghost, man. What the heck is this dude doing? Where is the nether fortress? I saw the big old pillar legs. Okay, there it is. Damn it. Hate these guys. Oh my gosh. Wither skeleton. <laughs> we found ourselves. Nether eye right here. Jeffers Craft journey to the end. Our next relic brings us to the cold north where it is said that this is one of the last artifacts left behind by the ice loggers before they all suddenly vanished from the world. So hopefully we will be able to find and obtain the next eye, the cold eye. All right, how's it going, everybody? It's Jeffers Craft. I'm back, and uh, today, man, it's good that we, you know, that we saved, or I mean, that we have these waystones and we we put one by our portal because today we're going back into the overworld and we are looking for a cold, wintry, snowy biome. I'm getting nailed right now, but uh, so hold on, let me let me take care of some business here. I'll just keep talking. So so we're gonna be looking for a cold wintry biome to where we'll hopefully find a, oh a, 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 a igloo an igloo so that we can you know find ourselves the cold eye because that is the next eye that is the next uh, amazing relic that we're looking for is the cold eye and man we've already got two eyes we've got the old eye and the nether eye so now it's time to go find this the, the cold eye man and the cold eye the le legend says, let me tell you what, what legend says about the cold eye here. The cold eye that was left behind by the ice loggers before they all suddenly vanished from the world. Okay, so that's what the legend is behind this cold eye. Pretty cool, man. Um, so before I go, you know, these guys are just not leaving me alone. But before I go, I'm going to bust this because I want to go back down. And I'm going to try to find one more wither skull. Because if I have one more wither skull, I'll have enough to actually summon the wither when it's time for that because I'm going to need this to summon the wither later on and uh, we'll get to that eventually but I since I'm here I might as well find myself uh, another wither skull and hopefully it won't take too long because you know then we could be on our way looking for this cold wintry spot where we can hopefully find the cold eye right um so yeah so we're going in looking for there was tons of wither skeletons last time when I was looking for the nether eye so hopefully we'll run into these guys pretty pretty quickly and uh, take care of business ah man these guys are terrible oh, I see a wither skeleton over there come on buddy ooh ooh yeah give me a skull did it drop a skull it didn't okay we're gonna keep trying and uh one other thing we're gonna have to figure out real soon is uh maybe you know making maybe I'll have to make a um, what is that? Okay, I don't, I don't know if I grabbed all this stuff, but anyway, <laughs> to to the task at hand, I'm gonna have to make either an ender chest or a traveler's backpack or something to, you know, be able to put my items in because I am just overstocked and I have no place to put my stuff and I need to get what? Uh, let's see, nine more eyes. Or actually, it's, it's, ooh, let's see what we got here. Actually, ten more eyes and a power stone. So I definitely need. Long story short, I'm gonna need more room. We're gonna figure that out. I think I'm gonna make a an in chest. That might be the easiest way to go with some obsidian stuff. So, yeah, heck yeah, man. These guys are not gonna leave me alone. They're just gonna fight me <laughs> the whole way. I am in their domain here. And sometimes it could take a while to uh, find a wither skull. So I hope I find one pretty quickly. So we can get out of here and be on our way. Ooh, here's another another dude. Here we go. Come on. Give me what I'm looking for, boy. You're not going to drop anything? This guy. 
Okay, we'll, come on, we'll, we'll get it. Just keep on going. These suckers, man. I, we have so many blaze rods. Because <laughs> they're easy to get, man. But these wither skulls, nah. Ooh. Okay, so here's another another guy. He's just kind of hanging out. You see him? Whoa, dude. What's that? That's not it. Man, they dropped two of them, I think. Because I have looting, so they dropped two of them before. Oh, man. These guys are just off the hook, dude. Let's see what we get after this. It's so crazy in here, I can't even look. Let's see if we're picking up anything. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Dang, these guys. Little pests in the ground. <laughs> Alright, so, come on, Wither Skeletons. Give me what I need. Can't be that hard. Ooh, there's a heart container. I'll take that. Those are awesome to have. Man, they won't leave me alone. Let just drop something. There we go. That heart container is going to be awesome because it'll give me more hearts. All right, so let's see here. So I think, guys, um, this might take a little bit. So I'm going to, uh, you know, work on this, and I'll come back when we're ready to go into the overworld, okay? So uh, see you in a bit. All right, guys, I think uh, I finally, after a while of fighting, I finally found another Wither Skull. So here we go. Now we're going to pick this guy up, and uh, we got a few heart. If you see my hearts, man, I got a few heart containers along the way, which was amazing. So... And I got the three wither skulls that I need. So now it's time to leave the, the nether and go in search of the cold eye. We're going to go looking for a cold place. And, uh, and I'm glad I've set up this waystone so that we can go back to our nether portal without a problem. So, yeah, there it is, portal. Boom. Look at that. I love the way the waystones work, you know? Waystone mod is an amazing mod, and it, and it updates all the time, so... Definitely gotta check, you guys gotta check out the Waystone mod along with this in remastered. So let's go for it. Let's take this with us. Let's take our, let's take that with us. So I think, yeah, probably should. So then when we find another one, we could travel. There we go. There we go, guys. Here we go. Back on the adventure. All right, so nice place, but it's time to breakout well actually you know what one thing i realize i need to get rid of some stuff um so maybe do i have yeah i have the right things to where i can actually make an ender chest so let me make an ender chest i gotta get some of this uh, obsidian first but i can just bust all this down like a madman and then we'll make ourselves an ender chest um so that we can have a place to put our stuff because man we have no room left you know what I'm saying? We need room to be able to collect the rest of the eyes along the way here. And uh, eventually, maybe I'll make a backpack so we can hold more. But uh, for now, I think this is the way to go. Because I don't have all the, the items I need to make a traveler's backpack. And and uh, ender chests, I do have the items. So, you know, makes sense, right? I mean, hell yeah. Hell yeah, it makes sense to me. And I think, do I, I forget, do I have to make an eye? Ender ice, but I do have blaze rods, so so I should be able to smash the blaze rods into. Or can I just use the rods? I forget, man. We're gonna check check it out. We're gonna we're gonna craft some stuff. So I think I gotta smash the powder. Yeah, heck yeah, man. I got so many blaze rods doing that. These things are crazy in there. The nether was a crazy place, you know? Ghosts and stuff? Shit. All right, so, here we go. There's our eye. Beautiful eye, blinking eye, you see that? Damn, okay, so now we should be able to um, get all our, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how you make it. Put your eye in the middle, and uh, there you are. We got our ender chest, and we could stick our stuff in the ender chest, and no matter if we break it, lose it, whatever, as long as we, you know, our stuff is not lost because as long as we can make another ender chest, if we lose it, then we have all our stuff. You, you know how ender chests work, I, I'm sure, if you're watching Minecraft, but it's 
pretty amazing to me. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to the eyes, though, just because... And all the stuff I really need, I'm holding on to, of course, but... Uh, and a bed so we can sleep. But the horse armor we can put away. We can put away um, the ancient debris. Um, I don't think I need obsidian right at the moment. I'll, I'll hang on to it, all right? As long as we have enough room. I think that's enough space for now for us to be able to... Uh, you know, gather things along the way, huh? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you guys. I'm I'm excited to go on this next adventure. I love the cold. You know, and uh, hopefully it's going to be fairly cut and dry, fairly easy to find a uh, igloo, you know, and find the cold eye in the igloo. If, you know, if legend is right, like I always say, if legend is not lying to us, there will be a cold eye in an igloo. And it's those kind of igloos where you actually have to, you know, go, it has a ladder going underneath it, right? And uh, and it has like, usually has like a zombie villager in there that you can save and all that good stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. And so in there, we should find uh, cold eye, hopefully. So here we go. We're gonna use our, we're gonna use our nature's compass and try to find, um, find ourselves a cold biome. So let's see, what should I search for? Just like a, snow no I think it's maybe yeah man how do I know wait a minute I gotta fix that maybe it's just snow snowy beach snowy maple forest man there's all kinds of stuff here um snowy taiga maybe snowy tundra yeah let's try that let's try snowy tundra Ooh, we're 2,000 blocks away okay so we're gonna go walking a little bit but I think I'm probably gonna you know take a little cut and we'll once we get closer but we're, we're just gonna kind of go on an adventure for a little bit here just because I uh, never know what to run into along the way look at that what is that it's a little fishy in there <laughs> a little fishy that water looks beautiful too it makes me want to swim in it you know all right, so I think we're going the right direction. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I can see my compass needle. See, if you if you didn't know how to use the nature's compass, it actually points, the needle points up north just like a compass would. And as long as you selected the biome and it found it, then you just follow it um, until you get to it. But 2,000 blocks is a long way. So I don't think I could jammer, jammer, jaw, jack my jaw or whatever, however you put it. I don't think I could do it for so long. You guys get bored, man. So. Um, ah, man, I should cook my food. I'm just out of food, and I'm hungry, you know? So I think that's kind of a priority. We should find a way to cook some food. I'm going in the wrong direction, though. Oh, that's right. I, I, I probably should... I, I forget so quickly, but I should probably make a furnace. These are... Yeah, I need to find some regular... Uh, cobblestone look at first that i just got a stone age advancement <laughs> i haven't even used stone yet it's because i you know started off with my gear ahead of time so you know i want to be geared up for this this uh, adventure like a true adventurer would be so we just need to find a little bit more stone and we're we able to make ourselves a a uh, furnace man so we can cook some of our food and at least have a little nourishment because I am super hungry and have no way to eat so here we go and then I do I have I don't even have oh I have blaze can I use blaze powder to, to cook with oh I have wood yeah so let's uh let's do that All right, so let's put our furnace down. And uh, we're gonna cook up some meat, man. For the road, you know? Gotta have some nourishment for the road. It's a long haul, 2,000 blocks away. Or over 2,000, it's just a little over 2,000, man. It's gonna be a long trek. This is, this is quite the adventure for the third eye, the cold eye, right? See what we got up here. It's a beautiful world. That's a weird looking tree, man. It's almost like, oh, it's because of that one. It looks like it's because of that one stick. It, it does, the leaves aren't decaying. It's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> that was 
That was crazy. Oh man. All right, so let's go check on my food so we can get on this adventure. See if it's done. It'll probably be done. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, we made it. We're good. We got so many hearts. There it is. All right, so now I can eat some food and, and uh, get on this adventure, right? Let's see, let's eat some food real quick. Just toss out some of this garbage. Oh man, I'm so hungry. That was good. See, I'm gonna have to get more meat along the way. So let's find, let's go in the right direction. I'm gonna go up here first and uh, then we'll be on our way on the trek. The trek like Shrek, Shrek and Donkey. <laughs> All right, so I need to, Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some food. Might as well while we're here, right? There we go. Some nourishment. Oh, I hate to kill the black pigs, but I gotta eat. These things, you can eat the, the elk or whatever, but they run so fast that it, like if you don't kill them in one hit, they, they're gone. I've tried it. <laughs> All right, so. Ready to go on an adventure, I think. So, since it's so far away, guys, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna come back in a little bit when we get closer to uh, the snow, okay? We'll, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, well, it took me forever and a day, but I made it across the ocean. I had to go a long way across the ocean in a boat, and I finally made it to a cold, snowy place. So. I mean, I am in the cold, snowy north. You can see my breath just going, just breathing heavy and see the coldness, steam in the air. And uh, I'm hoping that I'm gonna come across an igloo somewhere in this cold, snowy place, man, because that's where I'd find an igloo, I would imagine, right? Um, what is this? This might be an igloo, guys. No way, dude, I just, uh, I didn't think I'd find one so fast, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah, that's what this is. Let's see, let's make sure this is a, uh, you know, has an underground part to it. Yes, it does. This is it, guys. I think we have found our place. Now, I, I you know, we haven't found the cold eye yet, but if, uh, le you know, legend says that this is the type of place where I would find the cold eye. So, oh, I'm getting excited here. I'm getting excited. Let's check this out. Let's do this. Nice, long way down. It's gotta be it, man. Let's see, yeah, the, yeah. So wait, I'm not gonna look in the chest yet, yet because I want to, you know, keep this anticipation going. So look at this is a, you know, this is a, t this is a place where, you know, you could save the villager here if you wanted to, you know, and, and, and you could trade with the, if you save the villager, you can trade with the vill villagers. Um, they'll give you better stuff, but, uh, but yeah. So let's, let's do it. Let's check in this chest. <gasps> Yeah, dude, cold eye right here. Cold eye, everybody. I don't want to scream into the, the mic, but we have found the cold eye. We have found the third eye. This, this, and what is this? What is this? We found another relic, too, um, from the relic mod. It's an icebreaker. I'm, I'm not sure what it does. Let's see. Let's check it out. Causes shockwave after players fall on the ground while holding shift. Increases knockback resistance and grants... Grant's wall slipping ability. Okay, that sounds, that sounds all right. You know, I'd rather, I like my magma boots better, but uh, but yeah, cold eye. We did it. We did it, everybody. So, uh, hell yeah. I'm not, I'm gonna just might as well save this guy, right? Might as well do it while we're here. There's our th three eyes, man. So exciting. All right. All right, here we go, buddy. We're gonna save you. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Come on, I wanna see it happen. We gotta see this guy get saved. <laughs> I know it's gonna happen soon, I swear. No, okay, well, it's all right. We're, we'll just let him be. Let's get on it. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this place. This freezing cold place. I'm already cold. Actually, I love it. Can't wait for the cold. But uh, here, let's get out and uh, 
we're gonna go we're gonna get out of here and keep trying to see if he'll change but he's not no it's all right we're gonna go <laughs> all right man it's a long way down but we did it man I'm so excited all right let's get out of here and stop right here and let's let me switch views Grab this eye. And yeah, it's been amazing. Like I said, we went we went through a long journey. I didn't show all the the traveling just because it took forever, but we finally found the cold eye. And now we're ready for our next mission to find what's called the rogue eye. And that's uh the rogue eye is found in a jungle area, right? And the rogue eye is uh, said to by legend that it's was given to the ancestors at the knowledge of redstone. So yeah, that's gonna be our next mission. I cannot wait. We're gonna go find ourselves a jungle, and uh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time on Jeffers Craft and the Journey to the End.